Welcome to the channel everyone. This morning I got a project. I'm going to treat the pond with chemicals. Now we've got a couple videos out from several years ago. My son and I were dragging the pond. We've got a homemade dragon. We drop it in there, pull it out with a tractor and it's a lot of work. We'd spend probably most of a weekend. We could only get about half of it done. So we ended up going with bought hydrothal granular and we're a little bit hesitant about using chemicals because this pond isn't very deep. The deepest is about five foot, most of it's four foot, and we're worried about depleting the oxygen. The chemicals, once they kill the, the, the pond weeds, that's the, the decaying weeds will deplete the oxygen. So I called the company and I talked to a rep and I got all kinds of information from him and he told me he said the best thing to do is do it in two stages so we bought the required amount of chemicals and he said put in half of it and then wait about two weeks and then do the other half it'll kill the weeds a little bit slower so the oxygen can kind of stabilize it won't be a, a sudden shock to it and also he said timing is pretty much key if you uh, wait until the middle of summer when the weeds are really active you already have a low oxygen level in the water and then when you kill off the weeds that even that's even more of a shock so you could have a fish kill then he said the optimum time is mid-may so here we're in the second week of may i'm going to get the first application done today wait about two weeks put the remainder of the chemicals in uh, this stuff here it's a a microbe and it stays active for probably only about a day now he said the colder the water temperature the longer that stuff will stay active but earlier in the spring when the water temperature is, clo is colder you don't have as many weeds so it's kind of a trade-off the microbes will stay active longer but you don't have uh, as much vegetation so he said that uh, May mid-May is about the best time to do it so we're going to work on that this morning I'm going to get this stuff put out now one thing he told me too he said uh, a lot of people when they buy this stuff on Amazon, he said they get killed on the reviews because the people don't use the right amount, they don't use, do it during the right time of year, and they leave a bad review. Well, I told him that's why I'm calling you. I wanted all the information I could get. So that's what we settled on was a hydrothal. So I looked a couple places. Amazon is about $120 for a 20-pound bag. I found a place, uh, Rural King, online and it was a hundred dollars a bag twenty dollars savings and i needed four bags by the time you put shipping on there you know that's going to add to it but it still saved me about thirty dollars going with rural king over amazon and i had it the next day so um, i'm going to get this put on here and then i'll keep an eye on it see what happens next couple days and then i'll do a follow-up video when i do the second treatment and see how it looks now i don't expect miracles out of it i hope it does like it's supposed to but uh you know i've heard people use it and had good results other people don't maybe it's timing maybe it's the application rate so hopefully everything will work out good so also when i talked to the rep he told me it's not too important on how you apply this stuff as far as what you're doing i asked him well you know what about the uh the little broadcast seeders like you could crank them and they spread out and he said most people just put it in a bucket, throw it out by hand or a coffee can. He said as long as you get it in the water, the water will move it around. But he said concentrate if you're going to do it in stages like I'm doing today. I'm going to do the north side of the pond here. He said do most of it, do your half your chemicals on half the pond even though it'll be diluted and move around so I'm gonna take the two bags and I'm gonna spread them over here as even as I can and then in another two weeks I'll come back and I'll do the other half of the pond but he said it'll start killing the weeds off slowly and then when you do the second phase of it's like a one-two punch that's when it'll kick in and kill everything so hopefully it'll work like he says
that's all done. A couple thoughts on this. Uh, what I did, instead of uh, dumping this all on really heavy to start and then worrying about running out by the time you get to the other side, take and do a lighter coat, and even if you take you know, two or three passes, that way you're covered. Uh, I started out on the other side and I did it fairly light and kept working like a grid pattern and then I'd fill up and then do it again so that way you're not ending up with too much chemical all in one spot even though the water does move it around but it worked out better just throwing it by hand you could broadcast a little bit better and trying with a plastic cup is what I did one and other another thing he told me too without uh, the weeds in the pond one thing that'll happen with the fish the big fish will get bigger and he said that's because the little fish don't have anywhere to hide. So I don't know if you've seen, we had a video out about a month ago. My son and I built some fish attractors and actually we've got four of them out there now. They were plastic barrels and we put all different kinds of pipe in there to make structures. So there's four of them out here. I'm gonna get some more made in the future. And I'm also uh, looking for somebody to come in with an excavator and dig one corner out we're kind of limited here in the woods we don't have a lot of room to move dirt to but being the pond is kind of shallow I want to get a hole over here in this corner at least even if it's a 20 foot diameter by about eight foot down we have enough room over there to move some dirt and spread it out so that'll help give them some deeper water in the summer when the water temperature is up uh, more places for the fish to hide. We'll get some more structures built and sink down in the bottom of there. So hopefully by the end of the year we should have this looking good with the, the, the new hole dug in there. The weed should be under control. So uh, uh, thanks for watching and if you haven't done it go ahead and hit that subscribe button.